All right, so like my fans, another re review from my previous channel. A cable classic from the 80s, Young Lady Chatterley. Let's check it out. All right, as you can see, our film starts out in 1901, England. Albert seems to be buying more and more these days, and so I have turned to Oscar Sodom. Our film starts out with Grandma Chatterley spying on this gardener who was bathing naked outside. He's like the gardener on the estate. What we're hearing is excerpts from Grandma Chatterley's diary where she tells about all her sexual experiences, including when the gardener swept her off her feet. Gardner's a little horny. When I see a wench that's nipple tall and stiff, I like to make a good thing that done it. And I'll put chill in the air. And although I can't show you the naughty bits, you can imagine what comes next. Fast forward 76 years, and that lady on the right is Harley McBride. She is Cynthia Chatterley. Granddaughter of the old lady we just saw. And she works in a grocery store. She's engaged to a guy named Philip. This is the aforementioned Philip. Well, I guess that makes it all official then, eh? Yeah, I guess it does. Actually, darling, I can't stay for a moment. Tons of paperwork on my desk, you know. Turns out she's inherited her grandmother's estate. I still don't know why. Well, it's very simple, really. Your grandfather's brother, Sir Albert, died 20 years ago. His wife, Lady Frances Chatterley, lived on until seven weeks ago. As she's left no will and there are no other living relatives, you have inherited everything she had. Have a commitment for she owes a lot of money on the estate, table. or there's taxes on it, and he wants to just sell it and give her the proceeds, but Can't wait till I get back. she wants to go see the estate. Very well. Leave it to me. I'll make all the arrangements. So she arrives at the estate, and there's a full staff. You must be Miss Cynthia, Mom. Yeah. Oh, welcome to your new home. Oh, thank you. I'm Mary Jameson, your housekeeper. Hi. Once she arrives, she puts on some negligee and starts e examining her body in the mirror. She eventually removes all of that clothing, and man, I would love to show it to you because it's nice. She enjoys watching herself in the mirror. And even though she's engaged, she goes horseback riding with this dude. And things get a little hot and heavy. It's just a white thing. You don't have to say anything. Then she finds her grandmother's diary and reads all the sultry stuff. The diary of Lady Chatterley. And in a few short months, we've been together. And then we see some of those stories played out. Here she is. Here's Grandma again with the gardener, dude. They're about to take off all their clothes and go skinny dipping. I'm not afraid. And then it gets even sexier after that. She wanders the estate and she hears something going on. It's the gardener and one of the maids getting it on. And she can't help but take a peek. You the old lady's mate? Yeah. Who are you? I'm the gardener here. And uh, this is where I live. And what I do when I'm not working is my own business. What, you won't fire me? I mean, two of my servants behaving like, uh... The maids give you full service here. They even wash you. Broad daylight. I poured the crude one in. Can't got no friends for another one. Eventually, the maid joins her in the bathtub. Later on, she takes it a ride with the chauffeur. How smug you sit there. So conscious of class, place. I wonder just how long it takes to really burn your cool. I guess we're going to find out. She picks up a random guy on the side of the road. 
use your imagination as to what's going to happen next. And when she's done with him, she just leaves him on the side of the road. Generous offer, Miss Chatley. A very generous offer, indeed. If she doesn't pay $80,000 in taxes, she's going to lose the property. Just speaking, this land is going to waste. I should like to put the land to use, so put up a factory where this house stands. In London, it would probably be necessary for you to sell. I'm not forgetting anything, Mr. Hartford. It's just that... Perhaps I didn't paint a dark enough picture for you. You see, Miss Chatterley, though you stand to inherit close to 20,000 pounds, there is a mortgage and taxes are due amounting to more than 30,000 pounds. Her friend Gwen and Michelle. So, when are you coming home? Well, I think I am home. Oh, darling, you can't be serious. I mean, really, how fabulous can fresh air be? Although they did not get along well at first, her and the grumpy gardener are getting a little closer. Oh. She really wants to stay here. Um. A few seconds later, things get a lot more steamy. Mm. Mm. We have some more of Grandma's diary. Philip comes to visit. I really didn't come all this way just to. Who's the young chap with the horses? Now I know you're crazy. You'll never go along with it. She wants to marry he Philip and to stay there. His mother hates to be out of his sight for more than five minutes. And yet you expect him to keep this place going. Me. She announces everything. And since we're going to be residing at Chatterley Estate after we're married, I thought it might be nice for us all to get to know each other. But darling, we never discussed anything like that. Then we see a collage of a lot of people eating food. You can kind of see where this is going. The gardener. I don't mean this now. I mean, I want you. Always. Oh, like, uh, till death do us part, always? Basically, then there's a long sequence where everybody's having fun with each other. Including Philip. Uh, oh, uh, Cynthia, darling. I, 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 I'm standing by the fire. And we were having this party. And I really don't know what to say. Really? Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself. Oh, Cynthia, darling. And so, dear diary, Philip and I have finally settled into married life. It's been six months and we couldn't be happier. Of course, his business keeps him in London four days a week, where he stays with his beloved mother. But he does manage to spend a long, leisurely, three-day weekend here at Chatterley Estate. Philip's mother feels sorry for me being left alone here so much of the time. For Gwen visits often, and I'm really quite happy and content. After all, my garden keeps me very busy. All right. Let's talk about... Young Lady Chatterley. This film seems to be been forgotten in some degree. There's a lot of movies with the word Chatterley in the title. And I think I have most of them. I think I've reviewed most of them, actually. This was like the first one, though, that I was aware of anyway. It showed up on cable. It was on a cable classic. It was on quite a bit back in the early 80s and such. I saw it, or at least I saw parts of it here and there quite often. It's available on DVD, and it's not actually even that expensive. You can get this for 15, 20 bucks, so it's not bad. But anyway... The movie itself is, I guess you'd call it an erotic uh, drama. Actually, it's almost even like a dramedy, comedy, dramedy, dramedy, yeah, whatever. So um, this woman, uh, Cynthia Chatterley, 
she finds out that she has inherited her grandmother's estate. I don't even know if she had much of a contact with her grandmother, but somehow she's inherited this estate, and um, the guy who's like in charge of the estate basically says, here, sign here, and I'll give you your inheritance. Basically, I guess there's a lot of tax liens on the property or something, and she has to pay 80 grand or something like that. Otherwise, um, it's she's going to lose the property anyway. So just sign here and I'll give you, you know, 20 grand, your your, your share or whatever, and you're you're done. Well, she decides, no, I want to go see this property. If uh, my grandmother owned it, I want to check it out. So she goes and check it out. There's apparently still a staff there, like a maid, a butler, and that all that sort of thing, and, and a chauffeur. <laughs> um, while she's there, um, she discovers her grandmother's diary, and her grandmother's diary is filled with erotic things, like how she met the gardener there and slept with him and this and that. And then we see that stuff played out. Uh, when she's not reading her grandmother's diary, she's kind of slutting around herself, which is interesting because she's virtually engaged to this guy named Philip, who is back in uh, wherever the hell they are, and he's going to come visit her soon. But in the meanwhile, she um, she meets the current gardener, and she kind of has a little thing for him. They're they don't like each other at first, but eventually they they couple up with each other. She sleeps with this other guy in this uh, like uh, car or cover, whatever the hell it was. But she she sleeps around a few times. Um, eventually, uh, Philip comes and uh, she learns again that she has to pay eighty thousand dollars by Monday, otherwise she's going to lose everything in the estate. So she tells uh, her friend Gwen, who comes to visit, played by Anne Michelle, by the way, you might remember her from the movie Mistress Pamela, which I reviewed quite a while back. Um, but anyway, she tells Gwen that I'm going to get the money from Philip. Philip apparently has money, and uh, she basically tells Phil that when he gets there that they're going to get married, and they're going to live on the Chatterley estate. And uh, then there's like this giant orgy sequence near the end where everybody's, you know, uh, uh, smearing food all over each other, and um, it ends with her, Cynthia, doing the diary and saying that, you know, Philip is away in France quite often, blah, 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 but she's kept the estate, she's married, she's happy, and uh, that's how our movie ends, so there you go. Anyway, that's it. So anyway, we got some, uh, a fair number of nude scenes in this here, including Harley McBride uh, herself. Uh, there's some penis in this movie, if you're into penis, uh, we got a little bit of that. I remember uh, years ago, my friend's uh, sister, uh, my friend Dave, his older sister Kelly, was saying that this was the first time she ever saw a penis on, on TV. Uh, her and her sister Kathy were watching it, and they saw they saw this gardener's penis in the beginning of the movie, this big hulky guy. So anyway, um, yeah. Harley McBride's kind of a cute actress, not like one of these voluptuous beauties, but she's cute. So, and uh, she shows all in this movie. By the way, she ended up marrying Richard Belzer, still married to this day. Um, and she did Young Lady Chatterley too, which I think I'm going to review probably next week, which came eight years later. Although, as I recall, she wasn't the main star of that one, but again, it's been a while. I don't remember for sure. So we'll find out, won't we? So anyway, yeah, a fair amount of nudity in this, uh, a little bit of comedy thrown in. It's not all drama. It's... Uh, it's just a little erotic classic, and the eroticism actually I thought was very well done. So there you go. Um, that's it. Young Lady Chatty, like I said, you can get this for 15, 20 bucks. I'll leave a link to it on Amazon down below if you're looking for it. Otherwise, it's on eBay for that price. And uh, for what it is, it's a pretty decent movie. Like I said, it's almost like it's kind of forgotten. If you look on IMDb, my review is the only one there, and for, in terms of like a critic review, and there's only like 14, you know, people reviews. So there's just not a lot out there about this one. But again. From my recollection, this was a cable classic, Young Lady Chatterley. It was on quite a bit back in the day. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about it. Young Lady Chatterley. Watch it. Bye.